the intensive care unit of Makarios Children's Hospital in Nicosia. Many years ago, Rosie Sheralambus also stood here in desperation. Her child was critically ill, and she was faced with a sluggish, barely functioning healthcare system. It was in those days she came up with the idea of collecting donations to help the sick children of Cyprus. But how was she supposed to accomplish that? The answer, literally, lay in the streets of the island and in its garbage. Aluminium cans. The cans could not only be used to make money, there would also be an environmental benefit. When Rosie Sheralambus founded her Cans for Kids organization 22 years ago, environmental protection was not an issue people thought about. Recycling was unheard of. Rosie had a long way ahead of her. Back in 1990, the word environment wasn't really known in Cyprus. People didn't think about looking after the planet. At that time, I had a child who was sick, and I realized that the hospital equipment here in the children's wards wasn't as state-of-the-art as it was in the rest of Europe. So I put the two together and started Cans for Kids. We've been collecting cans, and from a small start in Nicosia, now it's all over Cyprus, and persuading people that even if they don't care for the environment, by giving their cans to us, they're helping sick children in the hospital. So it's a win-win situation. And as we've grown, we've managed to get more and more young people on board as volunteers, and I think that's so important. They will teach their children, they will be active citizens, and that's what we're going to need if we can save the planet. Countless volunteers collect and separate aluminium cans, which are then pressed and sold. Under the Cans for Kids organization, numerous young volunteers collect and process 10% of all aluminium cans disposed of across the island. A total of 260,000 euros has been raised and invested in medical equipment. In this way, the long bureaucratic process for the procurement of medical equipment that the hospital normally goes through and which can sometimes drag on for years, was simply circumvented for the benefit of sick children. However, the most remarkable aspect of Cans for Kids is how the organization was able to rally children and adolescents as volunteers for the project. A classical example of a Youth in Action program. Cans for Kids are really is very important for the Cypriot Society because it serves two causes, two very important causes. And it truly is a really fantastic project, which is why I'm volunteering six years later. It changes the world because we work for the environment as well as the children in hospital. Rosie Sherilambus cooperates closely with schools and other organizations. In recycling art workshops, kids learn a new approach to using aluminium cans and make small works of art. A fantastic and committed project with multiple benefits.